What's happening guys? Welcome to this video. Today we're talking about DaVinci Resolve 18, 17, 16. It doesn't matter what version of DaVinci Resolve that you're in, but we want to talk about how can you get comfortable working in Resolve? Because sometimes you jump in there, especially if you're just getting started, you look around, you're like, what am I, an airplane cockpit? Like, this is complicated. I don't know if I can do this. But I'm here to tell you, you can do this. Today's video is sponsored by Habata, who is gonna help you get a little more comfortable working in Resolve, but we'll talk about that later. So let's get into the first thing that you need to know that's gonna help you get more comfortable in Resolve. First, you gotta expect a steep learning curve. It's definitely a different type of program than most programs that you're used to working into, especially if you're coming from something that's more basic. Maybe you're working in something like iMovie or some of the web-based uh, editing videos editors they're gonna be simpler and easier to use no doubt if you jump into resolve it's gonna be a little bit of a steep learning curve even if you're coming from something like Premiere Pro or maybe you're coming from Final Cut it's gonna be a little bit different than those as well now you can do a lot of the same things but the way you do it might be a little different so off the bat, expect a little bit of a steep learning curve. It's gonna take you some time to get used to working in Resolve and to understand and think the way that Resolve works. So be patient, keep working at it, and you're gonna get there, I promise you, you're gonna get there. The next thing I would tell you is do the best you can to get your video and your audio correct in camera. This is gonna save you tons of time and energy and effort in Resolve. You're not gonna be trying to fix things, change white balance and exposure and all that. Get it right in the camera. I think that applies to not only video, photography, get it right in the camera. It's gonna save you so much work in post because sometimes you can't fix this stuff. It doesn't matter how much you do, it ain't gonna come out good. You know, it's still gonna be like, eh, and you're probably not gonna be happy with it. So get it right in the camera the best that you can. If it takes you another shoot or another try or two, do it again, get it right in camera, get your audio right. It's gonna make it a lot easier when you're working with it in DaVinci Resolve. The third tip here to getting comfortable in Resolve is just to practice. You have to just get in there, get your hands dirty and try some things. You wanna have some files that you can play with and if you don't have anything that you can use to just jump in Resolve and play around, I actually do have some free files that you can go and download. I'll leave the link in the description below. Go download those, you're gonna be able to try them out, work with the audio, work with the video. It's just a few clips, but it's something that you can work with if you don't have any clips of your own, you don't belong to any stock footage sites or whatever. Go ahead and download those clips and it's gonna help you get started just giving you something to practice with and play with. And that's really the best way to kind of learn and figure out what do I need to know? How do I do different things? Get in there and practice and just play around. I mean, most of the time I learn stuff just by playing around or uh, you know trying to do my own little projects, right? You come up with a problem, how do I fix it? I go to YouTube, I look up Jay Yudlovsky, right? Or you look up some of the other awesome DaVinci Resolve creators out there. So just getting in there and getting your hands dirty and trying things is gonna make a huge difference in helping you learn Resolve quicker. So let's say you're already going in Resolve and, and you just, you, you want to get a little better at it, you're not sure where to go. One of the things I'd recommend learning first is just some of the basic keyboard shortcuts for the tasks that you do all the time. For example, you want to use Control or Command B to make a cut instead of using the little icon, right? It's gonna just be quicker for you. You wanna learn the difference between the backspace key and the delete key, because one will just delete your clip, one will ripple delete your clip, which means get rid of the clip and push everything over. So those are gonna come in real handy when you're working in Resolve, they're gonna help speed up your edits. Another real basic one is how do I play the video, right? Hit the space bar, that's gonna play the video for you. And if that doesn't give you enough options, you can try the J, K, and L keys. That's also gonna give you more options on playing forward, playing backwards, speeding up the playback, slowing it down, going frame by frame. You can do all that stuff with just those three keys and it's super handy. So you wanna to start to learn some of these keyboard shortcuts because that's gonna help you just get a little bit better, a little bit quicker, and just be able to be a little more efficient in DaVinci Resolve. A couple other keyboard shortcuts that I really like and use all the time, Control, Shift, and then the bracket keys, left or right, will ripple delete parts of the clip for you. And depending which way you wanna go, depends which bracket key you'll use. You can see on the screen here, here's some examples of how that works. Another one that I like is the Alt-Y key, which will select everything from your playhead forward. I like that one, I use it all the time. I might put my playhead there, make a selection, and then drag all that and move it over. And another one that I use all the time is to hold down your Alt or Option key on a Mac, and then just click on a clip and drag, and it's gonna copy it for you. Makes it super easy just to copy things that you're using multiple times, for example, text. So with all this work you're gonna be doing in DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna spend a lot of time at your computer figuring it out, learning, and understand what you're doing and why. And that's where today's sponsor, Habata, comes in. I'm sitting in a Habata chair right now. This chair is comfy, let me tell you what. So if you're looking for a super comfy chair that you can work at, spend some time in, it's gonna be comfortable for you, you're gonna wanna check these out.
Oh, this thing is heavy. Let's get this outside and get this together. Part of getting comfortable in DaVinci Resolve is having something comfortable to sit in. Today's video is sponsored by Habata. They sent this chair out for me to try out, see what I think, see if it's comfortable to sit in to learn some DaVinci Resolve. And I think this is something that you guys are gonna be interested in because you gotta have a comfy seat, right? Spend lots of time editing, lots of hours behind the computer. You need something comfortable to sit in. So let's put this guy together. Man, this thing is heavy. I think it's gonna be an awesome chair. Let's get into it. All right, that's it, we got the chair done. I mean, this is a luxury chair right here. Look at this thing, you gotta sit in here. I'm telling you, it's pretty comfy. Obviously, I just put it together right now, but I mean, it feels pretty comfy, this little headrest back here. I mean, got my hood in the way. Feels pretty good, I mean, ah, I can see myself lounging in here. And one other thing that I've never had in an office chair, check this out. This thing has a footrest, what? What, are you serious? Put my feet up while I'm working? That's crazy, man, how about that? That's pretty sweet. This has all your normal functions, can go up, can go down, slide forward to slide backwards. Let's cue some epic B-roll here of this chair and I'll give you a little more information about it. The build quality of this chair is awesome. It's heavy, it's solid, and it feels like a well-made chair. This chair offers you a ton of support. You have the ability to move the chair forward and backwards, up and down. It features a 3D adaptive lumbar support to help support your lower back while you're working. You can lean back up to 115 degrees and it also has two flanking supports for best sitting posture. And this is gonna help keep your back feeling good while you're working. It also has an adjustable headrest that fits perfectly on my head. It's comfortable and really helps you keep some good posture in the chair. It's got a foot rest. That's right, a foot rest. You can put it out, put your feet up while you're working and just get a little more comfy for those long sessions in DaVinci Resolve. It has adjustable arm supports that go up and down as well as arm rests that rotate in and out. This way you can find the best position that makes you most comfortable while you're working here in Resolve. So let's get back into the studio and I'm gonna give you a few more tips on how to get comfortable in DaVinci Resolve. So the next thing that's gonna help you get more comfortable here in Resolve is to go on YouTube and watch YouTube tutorials about how to do whatever it is you might want to know. At this point in time, there is a lot of information out there about DaVinci Resolve. And when I started making videos, there wasn't much info out there, which is why I got started. I wanted to help you guys out there because I was a little confused, but I gotta give some props to Casey Ferris because uh, all his videos were out there back when I started and he was one of the few people that were doing DaVinci Resolve. So you have a ton of awesome creators. I know a bunch of them. They're all great. I, I watch their stuff to learn things in DaVinci Resolve. So jump on YouTube, search for whatever it is you might be looking how to do. And I guarantee you, if you don't find it on my channel, you're gonna find it on one of these other great creators channels. And definitely check them out and support them too because hey, we all learn together here and I appreciate what they do. And hopefully you guys can learn from them as well. This next one I think is a big one that'll help you get more comfortable and resolve. And that is just try things. You, I get comments all the time that are like, Hey, what happens if I, uh, you know, I take the text and I do this and I put this here and, and, and I do that? What happens? I don't know. Try and find out, right? I mean, that's how you're going to see what works, what doesn't. How do you do different things on clips? I mean, I don't know. I have to go try it out and then I'm going to give you the answer on how to do it. So just if you have an idea, you're trying to think of something and you want to know what's going to happen if I do this, just do it and try it and see what happens, you know? You don't have to leave a comment on my page and ask me what to do. Although I might know, I might know. But plenty of times I gotta just go try it myself and then I'll tell you what happens. So just jump in there, just try things and that's gonna help you get more comfortable in Resolve. All right guys, so those are a few tips that I have on how you can get more comfortable here in DaVinci Resolve. It's a deep program. There's a lot going on there. Trust me, I know, I was there, I was there. And you know what, I had some great YouTubers that helped pull me along and that helped just teach me. And by pull me along, I mean, I watched their videos and I learned how to do DaVinci Resolve as well as I tried things and I just tried to learn as much as I could. That manual for DaVinci Resolve that Blackmagic has is awesome. It's, it's a little daunting, I gotta be honest, like 4,000 pages. 
but it's got so much great info in there. So if you get stuck, you can always check in there too and you get it with every download of DaVinci Resolve. They also have some classes coming up soon. Black Magic Design does. So you can check those out, sign up for those if you're interested there. There's so many places to get information about Resolve now just to help you get more comfortable working in it that you've got lots of options and you can just find the method that works best for you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. A big thank you to Habana for sponsoring today's video. This chair is awesome. Thank you guys. If you guys are interested in this chair, you can definitely use the coupon code in the description below. It's going to give you some money off the chair as well as the link in the description below will jump you right over to the Amazon page. Plug in that code when you check out and you'll get 10% off of the chair. Super comfy. I love it. It's going to be great. I'm using it here in my studio now. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.